Hey guys and welcome back to the Anthony YouTube channel. My name is Anthony and today we're going to a simple list in watchOS. Uh, so we're going to go in and create a new Xcode project. Uh, we're going to go to watchOS and watch app. And then next, I'm just going to say uh, list watchOS and in Swift UI. So we're going to um, deselect includes uh, notification scenes because we are not going to be using those um, so there's no point that being in the project so um, I'm just going to make this bigger now take this all the way over and so we are inside our watch app now I'm going to get I'm going to keep the canvas for now I'm just going to push it off to the side and here we are so we are in our content view for our watch app which is awesome as you can see if you've coded in switch UI before it's just exactly the same um, for if you were doing um, an iPhone or an iPad um, so yeah so first things first we're going to create our simple data um, so we're going to say struct and this is going to be called uh, super hero and this is going to be identifiable awesome so in here we're going to say var id is equal to uuid i'm going to cut, close it off with the curly brackets and also we're going to say var name which is going to be a string var I'm going to say um, back, background bg color is a color. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. Just close that down. Great. So that's our first step of our simple data done. Um, now we're going to go in and um, use what we've just made and create start creating our list. Um, and inside here we're going to have, um, we're going to use uh, Marvel characters, superheroes, so Captain America, Iron Man 4, so and so. So we're going to say um, bar soup uh, hero, um, heroes actually we'll use here, and we'll um, open this up and close this off. So yeah, uh, we can come down here now, and if we just call our first uh, superhero, this is what we're going to use. And we can now see, we can just type N and we're going to say name, background, our name and our background color. Awesome. So here we're going to say Captain America. Awesome. And the color we use for Captain America is going to be blue. Um, we need to make sure that we put a comma at the end of this line. Uh, because we are going to we have got more than one thing in our list of course so i'm going to bring this down we'll just do this a few times i've accidentally closed off the canvas but don't worry about it because we're not ready to run our app yet so in here say iron man awesome and we'll just say um oh red um, and in here, say Thor. And we'll say Gray. In here, Spider Man. Man. And um, Green. Could use Red again, but doesn't really matter. And we'll say Deadpool in here. We'll just say orange awesome so uh, now we've got all of our data that we're going to use uh, to create our list um, we're going to go now into the content view and add a v stack and now we're going to use a uh, list bring this down we're going to use a for each uh, to utter through our um, data so here we're going to say uh, superheroes this is the one we want, which is this one here, which has got our main data in. And we're going to say um, hero, oh, hero in. I'm going to drop this down. 
Um, we're going to create a button now. So button, and this is going to have an action and label. Call that off. Awesome. So, in fact, uh, we're going to just use the action, call that down like so. So, um, in here we're going to have some text, obviously, because we want to display our hero name. So we're going to say text um, is hero dot name. Awesome. And then we're just going to put some padding around our hero. So we'll just load the canvas up again if we can. Um, we'll see what we're working with on here. Now we're actually inside our content view. Whilst we're waiting for this to load, we can figure out what we are going um, to be adding next, um, which we haven't added our background color yet to our list. Um, and obviously we've got separate colors. Uh, so this is awesome. So this is what we can see so far on our uh, watch. So that's awesome. So we've got our hero names, um, Captain America, Iron Man 4 and Spider-Man and Deadpool pull hopefully is below yes awesome that's nice but now let's actually give our uh, buttons some color so say back background and this is going to um be our hero uh, dot bg color uh there we go and that's awesome but now you can see we've got a little bit of a problem with um borders here it doesn't look it's looking quite messy um, so we'll just say corner radius of 10, uh, which is now nicely um, rounded our buttons. But again, um, yeah. so we're just going to add in a list row background. See now, so you kind of got our list row so we do have we did add uh, extra color here um, around which is making everything look very untidy so it's just said oh this is going to be color there we go dot clear this should clear up everything so now we can we have got our lovely uh, buttons um, in here without the uh, background if I just comment this out you can see see here that we have um, a, a lighter grey, darker black kind of thing going on here. Just uh, it looks very messy. So with this line row list row background, uh, we can actually eliminate that to clear. So we we just have our normal watch background color, which is the black. Um, and that's pretty it, guys, for creating a list in WatchOS. It's pretty simple. Um, really easy to do um, so yeah guys so that's great um, if this tutorial has helped you uh, please let me know in the comments um, also like this tutorial as well if you find it useful um, and if you want to support me support me on here guys please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one thank you